If you'll hold on one sec, sorry, we have to do. I just realized we have to do our intro. I gotta get a mug. Do you have your? You have your coffee? I have a. Yeah. yeah. As always, okay. Yeah. I'll be right I, back. We're just starstruck by right having you, so we're we a little are. bit. We are. I have so many things to ask. Hold on. Not usually this, you know. You know, I went to. Do you know? You know, I. You know, um, Itchy Goldberg. Hey, morning, Juice. Good morning, Michael Wex today Hello. our wonderful guest the author of born to fetch and so many other books i am heather gold in oakland and i'm katie halper in new york city oh um, yeah i'm in toronto and it's raining uh, post zabar's trip i'm a little bit envious of the zabar's freud was right about that zabar's envy it's true all jews have it michael we asked so many questions like how come jews this how come jews that and i feel like i can finally there's someone i can ask every one of these questions too how come it feels like Jews from Lethbridge, Alberta, from Winnipeg, from Shanghai, wherever, still sound like they're from Brooklyn? Why do we all sound like we're from the same place? Do we? All rabbis sound like they're from Brooklyn. That's this, the truth. This is the thing. All Jewish communal leaders sound like they're either from, not even Brooklyn so much as South Bronx and Northern yeah. Manhattan. Because that's good, where the Jewish call. educational is institutions were right so everybody that went to places like yeshiva university everybody that interned at beth israel hospital no matter where they came from seemed to end up sounding that way you can watch old sctv things that were done in in canada and whenever rick moranis comes on as a rabbi rick moranis who's from toronto son of voice, sadie moranis sadie moranis Real estate mogul. Yes, he was her son, I believe. You but they always put on that nasal, that nasal kind of voice, and that that spells official Jew. Right, and they and they ask things in question form, even if they're not. Do they not? Well, some of them do. Some. Do people ever tell you they think you sound like you're from New York? Yeah, but none of those people was ever from New York. Right. Like nobody from New York has ever thought I was from New York. I get all the time, and I think it's the other way people have of saying, are you Jewish? Even if they don't know they're saying that. <laughs> they don't, but I get it all the time. Right? So Judaism is worried about what you do. Rather than what, you, what you're thinking about while you're doing it. As long as you're doing the right thing. You can uh, think whatever you want. So we can have impure yeah, thoughts. On like the cat. It's not like the Journey song, Don't Stop Believing. It's like, it's instead, Don't Stop Doing. And that in itself will bring the belief back to you. I always thought the Journey yeah. song was in response to that. You know, there have been different ways of oh, setting really up the Ten Commandments, like everything else right. in Judaism. Everything evolved. Is that a disclaimer? Like, and I'm I am your Lord. It's not a disclaimer. Well, eventually what it became was... BTW. Somebody had noticed there's no commandment anywhere in the Bible to actually believe the Bible. Oh, wow. It never says believe in any of this right. stuff. It just says do it. Uh, is that not the passive-aggressive Jewish mother thing where it's like, you don't have to believe in me, but just so you know, I'm, I'm the head. I'm the macher. See, I always believe that Jews, you know, Christians have Jesus, so they're very caught up in believing. We don't have to worry about believing because we have parents, and they're right there, and they're in flesh and blood proof in front of our eyes, and we're stuck having to listen to them. Any, anybody that comes from an Orthodox background, the first time they're confronted with Christianity, like with what religious Christians do, just sits there slack jawed in amazement because yeah, no, they kind of don't do anything. Like, you know, <laughs> they talk about Jesus a lot. Why are there so many words in Yiddish for dick? There actually aren't. There's there aren't words that are used a lot. Uh, I, I guess I would. There's definitely words, you know, talk, schmuck. Schmuck. Uh, uh, schlong. Schlong. That's already Bates. three. What did you say after schlong? Adel. Adel? Uh, dreidel with a V instead of a Oh, dreidel. Got it. Dreidel. Uh, like vasectomy. Yeah. They're prominent in Yiddish cursing and Yiddish swearing, right. which I think there's two reasons for this. Is One, if you look at the cursing in the Slavic languages, it's all about your mother. Mm. And it's all about your mother's cunt. Ask any Russian. And how do you say cunt? Because the only word I know, which is my favorite slang word, is knish, which I use all the time. Well, that's already, that's cute. That's hardly cuntish. No, a knish is, you know, it's like saying pussy or something. It has another right. meaning. Yes. Uh, the words that just mean cunt just mean That's cunt. what I meant. Like what? You can't, you can't call a person that. And well, you would call somebody schmuck, right? That's the point I'm making. 
You can call someone a schmuck. The Yiddish word that would have the same feel and the same effect about a woman would be something like klafta, which means literally a bitch. So a klafta is just, it's a feminine, Yiddishized feminine form of the Hebrew word kela that means dog. But klafta in Yiddish is much stronger than bitch in, in English. And, you know, that will, like you call a woman a klafta, if she can reach you, she'll hit you, and no one will have any sympathy for it. Thank you so much. This was an amazing morning, oh, thank too. You. Thanks for all the, thank we you. actually learn stuff, Michael. This is rare for us. We usually listen to the Jewish gut, but we actually had some uh, research-based information that we spread on the we show. We usually like the Jewish approach of just deciding we know everything. Yeah, it's very opinion. Without any it's, knowledge. The stronger the opinion, the more, the, the more truthful it is. Anyway, I will see you the next time you're on. We want to have you yes. on very soon. And Heather, I will see Absolutely. you next week. Sure. We'll see you Shalom. later. Thanks again. Okay. Bye. Right. Bye. Good to Good bye Good bye. Goodbye. What do you say in Yiddish? This I learned from my wife. Mom, and mom. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, I can't yeah. believe I called you mom. That was the weird. <laughs> yeah, oh, Michael, Michael, just so you don't think that this is an unusual occurrence. <laughs> Whoa! I'm using, 